placing the Adler as the entry point in the range, this tall, 5-door hatchback is the Vauxhall Viva, slotting below the recently revised Corsa and Funkier Adam in the firm's lineup. What is it? Retro small cars have proved popular for years, you only need to stand on a street corner for a few minutes to see several Fiat 500s and Minis. Instead of using the design of a much-loved older model to inspire a new one, Vauxhall's dusted off the Viva badge, last used in 1979 for its newcomer. Elsewhere in Europe, the Opel version will be called Carl. As similarities go, Viva's of old were known and sense spacious family cars, as is the latest model to bear the name, with five seats in its compact bodywork and as such it doesn't compete directly with the chic Fiat and Mini. Instead Vauxhall is attempting to lure buyers away from the likes of Dacia's Sandero, Gears Picanto and Ford's car. Although the new Viva is distinctive from the side with its sculpted bulges rising upwards towards the tail the front and rear aspects seem ordinary by comparison. There's a palette of ten colors to choose from to help liven it up though. Single petrol engine so far the only engine confirmed for the new Vauxhall Viva is a non-turbocharged version of the refined 1.0 litre three-cylinder petrol motor we've previously experienced in the Corsa and Adam. With 74 bhp available, performance is satisfactory rather than scintillating, but it fits in with the Viva's role of providing affordable, practical family transport. Mated to a 5-speed manual gearbox driving the front wheels, running costs impress with an official combined fuel economy figure of 62.8 miles per gallon rising to 65.7 miles per gallon if you pick the say Ecoflex version which adds low rolling resistance tires to its specification. Impressive equipment levels even at the lower reaches of the car market. Savvy customers these days expect cars to be well equipped with relevant technology and the new Viva comes very well kitted out. The new car will also be available with the firm's IntelliLink infotainment system from January 2016, complete with touchscreen and connectivity to both Apple and Android devices. Standard safety systems include electronic stability control, lane departure warning traction control and hill start function. Is the Vauxhall Viva worth considering as your next new budget car? Read on in our full review to find out. Performance Vauxhall Viva performance is very limited with just one engine choice available and on turbocharged version of the 1 litre, 3 cylinder petrol we've seen elsewhere in the course and Adam. It will come as no surprise when we say that this is no sports car. With just 74 bhp available and 95 newton meters of pulling power on offer the journey from 062 miles per hour takes a leisurely 13.1 seconds. Perfectly suited around the town, the engine is mated to a 5-speed gearbox and on test we found the car to be very capable and refined. On more challenging terrains and inclines. The engine can struggle to gain momentum at times and you'll need to change down a gear or two. It can also be pretty noisy when accelerating too. Although not an ideal choice for regular motorway goers, the engine proved capable when traveling over 50 miles per hour and at cruising speed the engine is quiet and smooth, until you accelerate harder. Handling The Vauxhall Viva is at its best when maneuvering around tight city streets thanks to its compact dimensions and small turning circle. It's simple to park to and makes easy work of any U-turns you may need to perform should you get lost. The car's box-like dimensions mean there's a little body roll produced in the corners, though. Stable and secure on the road, the car is easy to drive and the steering is light too even more so in city mode, although offers very little in the way of feedback. The Viva is not as exciting or characterful to drive as rivals like the Skoda Citigo and Peugeot 108, it's comfortable on the road though and the suspension does a good job of soaking up the potholes and bumps in the road. Equipment Here you have a simple choice of just two trim levels for the new Vauxhall Viva, say an SL the latter the same as those available in the older models. 
You can also opt for Aircon and EcoFlex versions of the Say Trim 2. Standard Vauxhall Viva equipment as standard your Viva Say will come equipped with electric front windows, cruise control, steering wheel mounted controls, multifunction trip computer, remote central locking, electrically adjustable and heated door mirrors, 15 inch wheels, daytime running lights with front fog lights and a stereo with radio and an AUX port. Safety kit is plentiful too with a plethora of airbags on offer, plus a lane departure warning system, an electronic stability program ESP with traction control, a tire pressure monitoring system and an emergency tire inflation kit. Isofix points in two of the rear seats helps the Viva be more suitable for a growing family and the driver's seat is height adjustable to help gain a more comfortable driving position. The 6040 split folding rear seats expand the small boot space if you're planning a move or going on holiday and a removable luggage compartment cover adds an extra dose of practicality. Moving up to say Aircon does exactly what it says on the tin and adds a manual air conditioning system to the standard specification. Opting for the say EcoFlex model equips your Viva with low rolling resistance tires, a front lip spoiler and extended rear spoiler with lead brake lights over the standard say model. Heading to the top of the range SL adds a wealth of comfort features including electronic climate control, upgraded seat materials. Bluetooth connectivity, leather steering wheel, six speakers and a USB connection. SL models also benefit from exterior enhancements like dark tinted rear windows and 15 inch alloy wheels. Optional Vox or Viva accessories if you're after a few more luxuries with your new Viva there are a couple of options to choose from including a winter pack which adds heated seats and steering wheel. You can also opt for rear parking sensors and an electric glass sunroof. Like its stable mate Saddam and Corsa, Viva will also be available with the next generation IntelliLink infotainment system as an option from early 2016. It allows integration of Apple and Android devices, including compatibility with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, plus upgrades the infotainment with a 7-inch touchscreen system. It can also read text messages to you when you're on the move. Also available from January 2016 as standard on SL Trim, and as an option on say, will be the personal connectivity and service assistant, on Star. Among many features will send an alert automatically to the emergency services if an airbag is deployed, off the round the clock roadside recovery. Plus Wi-Fi will also be available inside the car for up to 7 devices. Looking to further personalize your Viva? There's a choice of 10 exterior paint colors and a variety of 14 to 16 inch wheels to choose from. Comfort, Vauxhall Viva comfort levels are very good. With an overall length of 3,675 mm and a height of 1,485 mm there's plenty of space inside for four adults to travel in comfort. Although officially a five-seater, the rear seats will fit only three young teenagers comfortably, six-footers will particularly struggle with legroom in the rear too which could prove uncomfortable over longer journeys. For those in the front. The seats are comfortable and supportive except for some oddly angled headrests and the driver's seat can be height adjusted to gain a better seating position too. The suspension does a good job of soaking up the potholes and bumps in the road and the cabin is light and airy. Features like the standard cruise control, steering wheel mounted controls and electrically adjustable and heated door mirrors make life easier while out on the road too. Wind and road noise is kept to a minimum unless you take the Viva out onto the motorway where you'll need to have the music on fairly loud to drown it out. Practicality, Vauxhall Viva practicality is a bit of a mixed bag. Interior space is one of the best in the segment and headroom is good too thanks to the car's boxy dimensions. There are plenty of cubbies on offer throughout the cabin to store your personal belongings on the move especially useful are the small storage spaces above the center console and above the glove box.
Ideal for your smartphone and loose change. Boot space is a little on the small side with just 206 liters available, although the Viva just betters the Kia Picanto's 200 liters and is also bigger than the Peugeot 108. The high end i10 and Skoda City go both off for over 250 liters. There are a couple of hooks to secure shopping though and, although small, the space should prove big enough for a weekly shop or two small suitcases for a weekend away. You can also fold the rear seats down in a 6040 format which expands space to 1013 liters, although the rear seats frustratingly do not fold completely flat. Safety, we're expecting Vauxhall Viva safety levels to be good although the city car is yet to be tested and rated by your own cap officially. Both the Corsa and Adam achieved four stars on their rounds of tests, so we'd expect the Viva to do the same if not better. One of the most impressive attributes of this car is the amount of kit on offer as standard and that includes a wide range of safety systems like a tire pressure monitoring system, lane departure warning, hill hold assist and an alarm system. There's also a wide range of airbags on offer, an electronic stability program ESP with traction control and an emergency tire inflation kit. Isofix points in the rear help make sure car seats are secure and the speed sensitive power assisted steering with city mode makes maneuvering around tight streets in the town easy. Reliability Vauxhall Viva reliability should prove very good with the sole engine already used elsewhere in the car maker's range. We rarely hear of Vauxhall cars being recalled either and can see no reason why the new Viva will not continue this trend. Interior quality is good too and should prove durable for everyday life over your years of ownership.